So producing protein sounds easy in practice, but it's related to something very important that I'm going to spend some time going through. It's called the central dogma of molecular biology, or even the central dogma of biology. And the central dogma of biology is three key steps that you need to remember. It's that we have sequence first. I'll change the pen there. We have sequence first, such as DNA. That sequence leads to structure. And by leads to, what I mean there, this is a flow of information. We have information in the sequence that is communicated so that we're creating information in terms of a structure, such as a specific protein, say a spike protein or hemoglobin. The information in the structure is also mediated in terms of achieving a special function. And that function could be carrying oxygen during your blood if it's hemoglobin, or in the case of a spike protein or the virus, helping infect host cells so that the virus can replicate. This is related to a number of processes that I'm going to go through a bit, and a number of protein enzymes, DNA, and RNA species. It's worth spending a little bit of time on this, so I'm going to take you through it.